is that we can deliver our work with a really radically lowered carbon footprint. And that might sound trivial, but it's actually quite profound. I mean, it's taught us a lot about the transformations that are possible and still to do your work. It tells us also about the capacity for change that we all have um, when the situation demands it. What I observed from IIED was, I think, bravery um, an absolute ability to face up to the, to the challenges that were there. Um, great agility. Um, that's been something that's really, really impressed me. Another thing we've learned, I think, is that we can adapt, but within a stable framework derived from our values, notably tackling inequality, which is, has obviously been a massive theme throughout the pandemic. We've all seen these incredible ways in which the pandemic is hurting the poorest, hardest, and really in many ways risks increasing inequality in all kinds of ways. And I think perhaps last year shone a light on the, the absolute extent of inequality in our world and how a crisis like COVID, you know, as you said, really highlights the cracks in the system. So I think IIED's values around um, inclusion and equality and and giving time to partnership and letting our partners have their own voice and bringing their own skills and strengths to marry those with the skills and strengths that IIED staff bring is, is more important today than, than ever. There are policies, there are ways you can respond to that. Um, and one thing we've learned is the, the vital importance of active community structures for delivering resilience from all kinds of shocks. One immensely important thing that's come out of the year is that extinctions and deforestations increase the risk of pandemics. What's unique, I think, about IAD in the conservation space is that we focus on the ways in which you have to have communities, you have to empower communities, you have to respect the local knowledge of communities and indigenous peoples in order to do effective conservation work. I feel that all of this reinforces the approach that IID has been taking over the years and makes it even more relevant for, for the years ahead. I think 2021 is going to test us harder, perhaps, even than 2020. We have to, we have to build forward, um, build back better, fairer. But at the same time, when, when companies, when governments, um, when, when leaders within uh, communities are distracted by something as significant as a global pandemic, it can, it can risk the attention going off these issues which may seem to be longer term. I think that IIED has a very strong role to play in 2021 in making sure that we consciously make the space for the voices of grassroots communities to be heard, of um, the leaders from the least developed countries to be heard in all of these different fora. I'm hugely proud of the way IID has stepped up through the year and really kept all of its work programmes not just going but accelerating and powering forward. It wouldn't have been possible to do that without the amazing efforts of our partners all over the world, particularly in the global south, um, who were stepping up to deliver things in new ways. Thank you.